Wouldn't it be great to reduce the chances of getting called out to a pump station at 3 in the morning? The ABB ACQ580 variable frequency drive will increase the reliability of your pump station. It's an out-of-the-box solution that you can configure, eliminating PLCs, no nuisance tripping, it's simple and robust, no need for an integrator. Um, these drives can act as a complete primary control system for your pump station, or they can be in place for backup control. Okay, now we're gonna go through the setup. It's very easy. There's a four to 20 milliamp input signal here, a four to 20 milliamp input here, uh, RS-485 communication between the drives, 24 volts DC looped into the drive, and note the drive can create its own 24 volts, uh, and a submersible transducer for level control. In this case, we use submersible transducer because it's what we see mostly in wastewater, but you could go with uh, ultrasonic or radar to send that four to 20 milliamp input to the drives. Okay, now we're gonna simulate level control with the drives. I'm gonna go ahead and take the transducer, apply some pressure to it. As I do that, pump one kicks on. We're gonna let it run for a bit. Watch that ramp up there, full speed, release pressure, and it should shut the drive off. Okay, now uh, it should alternate over to pump two. We're gonna put pressure. Pump two is operating. We're going to let that ramp up to full speed for a bit. Release pressure and the drive should shut off. And this go around, we're going to go ahead and put enough pressure on there to hit both set points where both pumps kick on. And go. So you can see we hit the second set point. Both pumps are operating full speed. Release pressure. Both pumps should shut off. Configuring the drive for pump control is simple and easy. We just go to the keypad, press the menu button, go into primary settings, scroll down to multi-pump control, settings for this pump, drive name, pump number two, can be primary enabled, go into shared settings, Make sure total number of pumps is set for whatever you have in your system, two, three, four, etc. Program the efficient speed. The start is digital input one. Set up the level feedback. Make sure it's on analog input two because that's the terminal we used. Go into the scaling. We're going with a four to 20 input signal, four to 20 milliamp input signal. Minimum would be zero. Because we're using a 15 pound transducer, we'll take 15 times 2.31 to convert from pounds to feet. That's our max. Level unit is feet. We're gonna go back a screen to start stop levels. Pump one we set for five feet, pump two nine feet, uh, pump two off four feet, pump one off three feet, run full speed at one foot. Lastly, we're gonna set up our pumps for alternation. Go into auto change, auto change or alternation triggered by all stopped. And because the drives are communicating with each other, as long as the other drive has the correct node number, then you're good to go. You can always go into that other drive and check it, but it should share the information to get your other settings uh, from one drive to the other. And that's it, simple and easy.